All right, y'all, I have another Dear Steph letter, and so I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't know how long it may be, okay? Dear Mama Steph, I know you really don't like being called that, but to some of us, you're like another mom. Well, maybe even all because of your willingness to actually listen and hear us out on stuff such as this. Every girl has had a crush one or more times in their life, but it's always that one that she never got over for some reason. Maybe it was her soulmate or something. Once in the fifth grade, I had a crush on this young man, but of course I thought it was a silly crush because he had moved away and of course I did what a fifth grader would do and forget about him. My 10th grade year, he came walking in my class and immediately we had made eye contact like a small spark had started a huge fire. Again, that was once put out. I, of course, was shocked by this, but this was no longer the fifth grade and I had my grades and things to focus on. Plus, my mom was very strict on me, not allowing me to have any type of boyfriend or even relationships with males, period. But I didn't really care to have a boyfriend or anything like that. Once he came and sat in front of me asking me, remember you had a crush on me? My face dropped and in shock that he had known the whole time. I said no because everyone was watching and listening for a response and it didn't make it any better that I was the shy one still one of the biggest regrets till this day. I, being obedient and focusing on school, feel like I missed every signal he was given, thinking he was just being nice. Because I wasn't the popular girl or anything, and I also didn't have that much confidence to even think he would like me out of all the beautiful girls in school. Still, till this day, after graduating, and I'm 20 years old, I still think of him. I mean, every single day. I would think of him and suddenly smile. I try so hard to think of something else or find another guy to crush on, but it doesn't work. He has now moved far away, reason being he is in the military and sometimes I would get emotional over it because of what ifs. I mean, he probably don't think of me, of course, or anything, but I really would like to stop thinking of him. And I know it don't help that I go and look at his Facebook just to see his face and smile. But this generation is so childish when it comes to a female approaching a male. And I don't know if he has a lady in his life for sure. If not, I, or if so, I really don't know. I would probably feel better if I was to get rejected, if I was just to get the balls and tell him. Most would probably say she likes him because he's cute or other stupid stuff like that. But no, I really like him for his smile, personality, sense of humor, generosity and more i could go on and on and on but i'm not because it would be even longer and more and i can keep going maybe you can help me figure this out am i crazy help i know i'm young sorry this is long thank you mama stuff we love you xoxo girl let me just go and say this but what people say okay because there's nothing wrong with a woman approaching a man and showing that she is interested, okay? Like you said, you have missed all the signals that he was giving you in reference to showing you that, you know, he was feeling you, he liked you. You, you missed the boat on that one. So, now that you're grown and you don't have school and you don't have the strictness of your mom. Cause I've been not done that and my mama was strict too. Oh, I still have boyfriends, whatever. I'm grown, now what she gonna do with me? Not, so. With that being said, I would say, if you know how to get in touch with him, go for it. Get in touch with him. Now, when you get in touch with him, that don't necessarily mean you gotta put your heart on the line. And just, oh, I love you, I've always, I'm always thinking about you, I think about you every day. You ain't get to go into all of those details. It could literally just be a friendly reaching out, how you doing, what's up, what's going on with life. Find out that stuff first because it would just be wrong for you to call him and then pour your heart out to him and then he tell you he got a woman, he married, maybe he is a womanizer. You never know. So I would just say fill him out first and reach out to him, talk, get to know him, make sure you ask the appropriate questions of meddling. And that may be, you know, how you doing? How's life? Do you have a job? Where are you working? I know you already know that answer because you said he's in the military. However, you never know. Shit can change because 
people get kicked out of the military every day for dumb shit, okay? So confirm that he still got a job and he working, okay? Next, I would then ask him, you know, how's life been? You know, where has he traveled? Does he have any kids? Is he married? Or does he have a girl, girlfriend, a lady? Ask them questions, like straight up. And you know what? When you ask them, then when you get off that phone call, you can better assess if you want to go any further. Because based off them answers, it's going to tell you if you want to or not. So. Thank God I don't have no, like, crushes from my past. I don't. And I'll be honest, I don't. I did have a first that, you know, I loved. I loved him a lot. However, he just always insisted on doing dumb shit and breaking my heart and it always seems like when you find the one because when we find the one we know just like me and know when they find the one yeah you gotta put a lock and key on that thing do you hear me and snatch it and grab it while you can that's why i'm telling you seek him out seek him out you already go into his facebook page what's wrong with saying hi and starting casual conversation that's the difference with times now we have technology that you know instead of us putting ourselves out there on the line like even before you make the phone call you could talk to him through facebook shit you could tell a lot about somebody from facebook even though there are a lot of people out here that be catfishing people you still can find out some information on facebook okay call him after you do a little socializing on the book and then shit you can skype you can facetime if you got an iphone I think Joy's got FaceTime too now. Girl, you can do a lot to find out if you need to still be thinking about this man every dog on day. And if you find out things that you don't like, then, or things that are going to enforce you to move on, now you know. Now you know. Like you said, if he was to reject you, you think it would be best, in your best interest, because you could clearly move on then, okay? Move on and find your soulmate. So, I hope I answered your question. And if I didn't, Hit me back up, because it can always be a part two. I want you to keep me posted on how that turns out when you do that. I'm, I'm just really curious to find out. Sometimes our long lost loves be the ones that are the ones for us. Sometimes it's the person who you least expect. Is your soulmate. Mr. Long had no interest in him whatsoever when I first met him whatsoever and to be honest he had no interest in me either because he just didn't understand why the dudes were sweating me but he found out why he found out why because men want you honey when other men want you okay you become like this man magnet okay they want you when others want you this is the bad part though they want you when you already got a man too <laughs> With that being said, for those of you who would like to share or ask a question or just have a situation that maybe you want some of my input on, please be sure to email me at eclagnista at yahoo.com and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay? Okay. I'll talk to y'all later in the next video. Bye-bye.